All right, so back to this. Should have the screen fine. Should have the audio fine. Um, at least again, my voice. I, I still need to figure it out because I have a gaming headset, but for whatever reason, the microphone won't work. I'll need to figure that out for the next like game or recording that I do. But again, you know, beyond that, right? We're just getting uh, back to this. I mean. Yeah, right, we're just continuing on with our game, um, again, with the thing being the first part, so we've committed to this game. It's going a lot better than our Korea game, like, it's going insanely well. Again, getting the Oracle on Deity is pretty, like, crazy, like, I've only ever had, like, done that once before. Um, again, gain our libraries for our national college, and then working our way towards workshops, again, just the usual tech path. Um, again, we went, we're basically playing, we were playing very conservatively. We went with the conservative settles, didn't bother greeting, uh, Cerro de Potosi, or even this Spices. Um, again, we just settled our southwest, northwest, and the northeastern coast. Um, not really, again, the, the safe play in my eyes. Um, and then again, uh, not really going towards any particularly victory yet, again, by going piety, right? Uh, rather just focusing on building up our empire. Um, at some point, we'll need to transition to that, but again, the big thing being, since this is the first, I guess, technically second, again, the Korea game did not go so well, but you guys can't even see it anyway, but yeah, we pretty bad start uh, for Brave New World. I don't know why I committed to it, and we got early ward, so... That's all you need to know. But again, we're committing to this game. Um, with the big thing being that, and I guess kind of the question is, am I? It's the age-old question: Am I going to attack anyone this game? Honestly, Brazil, in especially Rio de Janeiro, is a very appealing target. Um, with the thing being that, uh, yeah, I mean, just let's look at this wonder list because I'm pretty sure he's okay. I keep escape. Uh, it does something weird. So yeah. Um, also, the fact that obviously Brazil tourism, um, they're already at 8, so they're winning uh, in that category. So again, right, honestly, yeah, I'm not super opposed to, and to be fair, granted, there's a mountain range separating us, but I'm not super opposed to attacking Brazil later on, right? Maybe Cavardi and them. I don't, I wouldn't attack anyone else. Damn, there's some awkward shit going, yeah, what the fuck's going on with the... Uh, yeah, what's going on with Pachacuti? His cap size 8. We have a higher population cap. Like, on Deity, which is pretty kind of unheard of. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Again, some very awkward settles um, from Amano, Mansur, Pachacuti, uh, Darius. There's a freaking French settler here. When, again, oh, freaking France is assault start. Okay. Um, yeah, but we're just going to see how this plays out. Maybe there's some islands we can sell. Honestly, I don't think so. We're going to stick on these four, and then I think a potential attack into Brazil at some point later on. But uh, we'll see, right? Notre Dame. Again, Brazil is a settler coming this way, which is uh, interesting. Um, again, we're going to use our tr tr triple scout to explore. Um, we'll bring this scout back this way. Um, send it up through there. Um, so yeah, we're still moving. We're gonna move our spearmen just to park on this sheep tile, so like, Brazil can't like move units at all. Again, we have a warrior here, spearmen here, so honestly, don't even really need to worry about like getting attacked or anything. This is kind of ridiculous. Or I guess, okay, I was clicking alt for whatever reason. That's what it was. Um, yeah, low-key wish I'd picked a camp food. Um, 
yeah, this is fine for now. Heliopolis is still growing. We can do this, right? Uh, we'll gain a farm here. Um, and then we're gonna get this quarry up, but yeah, four, three is fine. So, again, we just need to make sure this city. Yeah, we just need to make sure this city keeps growing. Um, again, I will, because what I'll do is when I get a, engineering allows another trade route, but when I get a workshops, I'll build a workshop in the cap and then send a production trade route to Elephantine. Because that city just doesn't have a lot of production. So, again, it, it'll have enough food, right? Um, we can make enough, like, fresh water farms. But, again, it just, there's, like, not a single hill. There's literally one hill and then one quarry. Uh, so, yeah, city doesn't need to worry about, uh, and again, we have three fish in range in the city, so, yeah, just again, the big thing there is, uh, three, yeah, so just, we can do something like this, again, right, just, uh, oh, fuck, I need to start my timer, Gandhi has completed, uh, Machu Picchu, again, uh, no, I need, like, I'm only really, really willing to trade for our luxuries. Anything else is a waste of time. Yeah, city connection. Okay, yeah, India. So there's some very, like, very awkward settles going on here. Um, again, some very, very, like, awkward settles. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know what the rest of the AI are doing, but I guess maybe they don't have as much land available to them. But yeah, there's some uh, very, like, awkward settles going on. Um, also, yeah, we can finally improve that. Because we've just been, like, gradually working on that tile. Um, and then we can get a stable in the cap. Um, yeah, we can do something like... Something like this, and it'll grow to that faith tile. Um, as for this guy, uh, we're bringing this guy to improve this tile. Uh, yeah, I guess what I can do is send this to a Heliopolis. Elephantine Aries 2. Yeah, the cap doesn't really need any, at least not at the moment. So we finished our library. I guess this city finished its a turn early because it grew. Um, and again, we have uh, the piety opener, so our shrines and temples are half cost. I guess the question is, so four six probably. I guess the question is, should we get shrines and temples in all of our cities after these uh, libraries, or is there kind of anything else we want? I guess a stable. Yeah, honestly, I kind of want a stable in this city. Well, actually, it only improve. Well, eventually, once we get, uh, yeah, let's go for the production. Um, yeah, because it'll improve this tile and then this horse tile. So, you know, that's kind of the safe bet. Um. Then we can build the shrines and burial tombs later on. Especially once we get whatever policy that gives them extra um, faith, right? That'll be when we build them. <sighs> Good old Red Bull Sugar Free helps keep me on. Alright, so... Let's continue on. Um... So yeah, we're just gonna like make our way through kind of uh, all the AI's like weird, odd like orders. So okay, yeah, look at yeah the AI again. And one thing again, you know that's true for the AI's. The AI just okay. Brazil's a settler here. Okay, this is kind of an obnoxious settle. Not even gonna lie, but I mean, yeah, how are they even gonna supply this? Okay, yeah. But, I mean, there's nothing I can really do about it, and I don't really care at the end of the day. Especially, I guess, if I'm going to attack him regardless. Um, you know, what matters is I have my own settles where, you know, like, I want him to be. So, so yeah, we can, uh, yeah, get started on this, right? And then we can get a Stoneworks over Stable. Stable only, well, I guess Stable still improves two tiles, but... You know, let's just get that stable so it'll be in line and this city's gonna grow so we'll be working on uh, this tile So again this city it's still getting its uh, library 
to cap through 5 4. Uh, yeah, this is the best. Cap gain its library. Yeah, get this mine. Um, and then, yeah. So, yes, yeah, and then we can start improving some of these tiles in the caps, so, like this, uh, quarry we can improve, and then that, uh, wheat as well, so. And then I guess wherever. It's growing to this horse, but that'll be, uh, Memphis's, uh, horse, so. Again, yeah, so Brazil made, yeah, Alhambra, again, I'm really thinking about attacking Brazil, cavarding, uh, Brazil. Um, and basically all I need to do is take Brasilia and then their cap. I really wish they sell Brasilia further up north rather than just here because this is kind of a dog shit spot compared to like on this hill. I was thinking about selling point at this hill, but I figured that AI would sell further north. But I guess it allows us, it makes it easier for us to attack in, but I mean it makes it like a worse city in terms of uh, keeping, right? So again, we're just going to snake our way through yeah, it's also raining pretty hard outside, if you can, uh, hear that, so. Let's see. So, finish this. Seven turns, uh, yeah, seven turns. And then, two turns, two turns. So, this city finished its library. Yeah, so I guess, hold on. So this, it's scoring to there in 9, but in the cap, it's scoring there in 1. So we can just do something like this, and then I guess, you know, be ready for... We can put, like, a turn into this farm, and then we can, uh, what would you call it, uh, just improve this quarry so we can get a stoneworks. As for the cap, uh, honestly, yeah, before we get the National College, we can just... Because what is it? Ironwork and how many turns in the metal casting? 5. Yeah, we can just, get, I'd say get the stable, especially in the cap, because it's what, what uh, is it only one? I guess it's still more production, and we should still have enough time to finish that national college. Um, again, so, let's see. Yeah, I think that makes, and it's like, we're not super worried about getting the, I uh, like, I don't, I can get the caravan in our city. So this city can't exactly get anything else. Um, I guess stone works, but like it's it's one stone. Yeah, and this city again just doesn't have that. Uh, I guess we could probably honestly a shrine in this city would. Pro I mean, there's nothing else we can really get right now. Let's be honest. Um, so yeah, I guess this city can get a. Uh, yeah, how much would stone works even be? Yeah, I don't think we'd be able to get it in time for this city anyway. We can get stoneworks later on, um, again, just, and then in this, yeah, shrines, obviously, how much is a stoneworks? 50? In this city's gain, 6 production a turn, so it'd be, like, a 9, well, it'd be 7 turns, if I'm blind, um, yeah, it'd be a 7 turn build, or fucking, Jesus Christ, 17, not a 7. So I guess, good thing we got a whatever policy, then, because, yeah, that's what's, uh, allowing us to, um, you know, get that shrine out, so. Again, Orbiter, and we can see another shitty AI so that'll pop up at the bottom of the map. Again, yeah, the AI are like, you know, and yeah, we're gonna snake through here. Uh, again, we're snaking through here, right? So these scouts are gonna explore the rest of the world for us. Um, Elephantine. So, seven versus five. Yeah, let's get them five. So, four. Honestly, I'm fine with this because we need to wait anyway, so it's like... Let's see, and then yeah, we can do this, so... Six, five, uh, three, three, so yeah, just do this, um, and yeah, uh, stable will do this a good. And again, so we have uh, some of these guys, right? So six turns, five turns. Yeah, that's fair. Two turns in the cap, and then we'll get our uh, what would you call it? Um, National College. Honestly, we can probably. I don't want to say hold off on the National College. I guess we'll see uh, how quickly uh, this workshop comes about.
and if like the turns like to build change. So yeah, again, we're just kind of snaking our way through. Let's see. Yeah, move this up here. Because again, these are fresh water. Again, once we get civil service, that city isn't... And once we get the production trader out, honestly, that city isn't going to be too bad. So it's like... But until that point, that's the issue, right? So... And then, yeah, this city's growing, so we can do something like this. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, not exactly interested in open borders. Again, I, I, I'm honestly thinking about attacking Brazil. I think that's kind of my play this game. Um, attack Brazil and see what happens. You know, because in Lekmod, I wouldn't put as much of an emphasis on attacking our people. But kind of the thing there is... Without like mod and just standard brave new world every game is pretty much the same like I don't know how else to put it um, But again, it's something to where it's like in order to like make things also I should just move just move this spearman back um, So yeah two turns Because we can chop this since this is a freshwater farm and then we can move this to that tile set Also, so yeah, so I guess shit, we- wait, what? We have- can we not build a stoneworks in this city? Oh, the city can't be- I keep forgetting a fucking stoneworks. To build a stoneworks, the city can't be on a plains for whatever reason. I keep forgetting that that's like a- For whatever- again, I don't know why, it just is. Um, so six, five, or that's still six. What if we do this? All right, five. So, National College in seven versus- Honestly, we holding off on the National College, I I almost never say that. What I'm thinking is I build the caravan, basically hold it in the cap, build the workshop, send it to Elventine, and then build the National College. Like, again, you know, kind of crazy that we're holding off on the National College like this, but and especially since I worked hard to get the timing for it, but again, it's something to where it's like, I mean, you know, I think that's what we do and roll with. So, again, just, yeah, you know, the nature of, uh, again, don't care about open boards from him. I just, again, I got my scouts through, so we're just going to scout and explore the rest of the uh, world here. So, again, normally crazy thing that I kind of don't do, but, again, you know, so yeah, the AR point up these, like, kind of just shitty cities. Um... Yeah, so there's more, there's more room, again, it, to me it's just weird, but, you know, I guess that's, that's beneficial for us, because there's more conflict on the part of, uh, the AI, so 10, 8, again, and this city could use some food, again, at some point, what I'll do is I'll pick up sailing and optics, um, and probably, honestly, astronomy, because compass also gives us an extra trade route, so at some point, I'll pick up at the very least into astronomy, and that'll give me two extra trade routes, as well as, again, cargo ships in Heliopolis, and then Memphis will most likely be sending uh, cargo ships to each other. At the very least, Memphis kind of needs food, so, but again, you know, I guess, yeah, it also has like zero freshwater farms, but, so yeah, Memphis honestly kind of needs food. So, but, I mean, that's why we're kind of pushing to build farms everywhere. So, again, we can actually continue to improve on this farm once we're done. And then, yeah, quarry. So, we could also, when we get the time, we can build a stoneworks in the cap. So, yeah, I don't know why we can't... To me, that was always such an odd, like, function. But, caravan? Um... So, oh, this, alright, that's why the cap, you know, ran out of, uh, it just continues food to thieves, so, four. oh, it actually still makes a difference, fine enough, so it just, uh, goes down a bit, um, yeah, so again, and then more food here, um, again, right, we're improving these kind of outer cities, the core, like, our cap's fine, but, 
Let's see. Uh, Renaissance. So, and we just entered medieval. So, but that's usually how it is, right? You know, no. Um, demographics? Holy crap, we're last in nearly everything. Um, France is leading in demos, but, um, uh, Persia is leading in signs, so I'd say just, yeah, Persia sold in our, holy crap, look at this fucking city. Again, AI settling shitty cities, you know, that won't change whether it's like mod or, uh, you know, I just threw that in the wrong fucking city. Um... They look similar enough, so kind of that was a crazy statement. Um, let's say Marseille, damn yeah, holy crap, this is a pretty contested border here. Um, I'm curious to see if France is gonna attack them. Um, oh yeah, they, dude, yeah, like the AI. Okay, burial tombs, but we need holy crap. Yeah, look at this fucking. Also, did this say grow? I guess it did. It must have just grown this turn. Yeah, it's still a 20 turn workshop is insane. And this is what I mean when I, again, it's like, yeah, I need to get this, uh, production caravan here, cause, uh, four, five, six, four, yeah, so do this, um, choose research, mental casting, so now we can push, uh, into, uh, education, right? Let's see, let's do this. Continue this. Um, seven again. We're still, yeah, gain this farm up again at some point. Heliopolis and then what will you call it? Heliopolis and fucking Memphis send each other like food trade routes. But again, you know, yeah, so again, this caravan into a workshop, into, you know, into send that uh, as production to Elephantine. Um, into probably a stoneworks into National College. We just, we, all we really need is the National College before university. Again, it's just crazy because I normally don't like delay that, but again, it's something to wear. Yeah, again, so just typical AI awkward settles. Yeah, just park this spearman here then. Let's see. Yeah, move here and improve that. I'll improve this. See, ch -ch -ch. prove this. It's going to there next, so yeah, three turns again. And this guy can help with the cap. Do this. Get a lumber mill here. Um. So hold on. Three. Can we undo? Wow, we can undo like uh, undo this, so we can work that. Um. Yeah, get this uh, workshop up. Again, so yeah, like six turn workshop, seven turn workshop, and yeah, so again, but 19 turns, you know, you can clearly see the, uh, even a nine turn burial tomb, but we do just need this, and again, as soon as I get this three turn workshop, I'm sending production to Elephantine, um, and then again, I'll, I'll probably do Stoneworks, potentially Forge in the National College, so yeah, just, uh, chill for now. Nor again, normally I wouldn't delay it, but realistically, all we need is the National College prior to um, universities. So, we can kind of go out of our way. Because at the end of the day, again, you know, I prioritize demos before science, you know. Because you kind of need the demos to really... T okay, we're fucking stuck. Why did, I, why did I move this shit in here? Well, I guess regardless, when their whatever border swallows it up, it'll get pushed out. But... Yeah, why the fuck did I do that? Whatever. Um, especially since that's my good scout, but... It'll get pushed out. So again, currency. We can get a one-turn sailing into optics, but I don't think any of the cities are really in a position to kind of... That'd probably be post-education. Yeah, let's just push into... By the time compass becomes one-turn, because we honestly really don't need astronomy or navigation. Um... But we will need up to compass, so by the time that becomes one turn, we can definitely, uh, I'll say, yeah, so five, this can become four, so, yeah, really kind of pushing and, like, maximizing this city's, uh, growth here. I'll say, yeah, so this grew six, five, eight turn workshop, though. I think I'd rather get, uh, this six turn. 
Well, I guess it'll grow. Uh, yeah, we don't need to push that much, so. What we can do is. Again, do something like that, and then we'll start work on one of these art tiles because they'll be next to um, uh, next to fresh water. So, Let's see, Darius. Uh, again, I'm not. I, I will probably cavalry, depending on how more appealing of a target Pedro makes himself. I'll probably cavalry him, and I feel like we're in a pretty good. Again, I just need them to like take that tile. I feel like we're in a really good position. Um, one turn, this guy can just wait there. We're in a really good position to kind of, uh, what would you call it? Um, so yeah, we can just... Uh, yeah, do this, because this is going to move onto this tile. And then uh, six, yeah, six for now is fine. Um, I mean, we're gonna work the uh, engineer slot in the cap anyway. We always work down the cap again. Just we just need that. So let's see again, right? Um, yeah, this city's gonna grow. Um, yeah, so it's good so far. Um, let's see. So Ken wants Valetta bullied. Uh, most litter, again, we're obviously in last um, for now. Yeah, so I just, I really need them to just push that unit out. So let's see, uh, improve this, right? Improve this. Uh, these tiles will still be improved. So yeah, this brings it down to five and then two, so that ain't too bad. Uh, elephantine's grown. Yeah, work this for now. But again, the big thing though is that we're going to send this uh, production trade right out, right? We can do something like this. Or actually... But yeah, we can send this production trade out, out to Elfentine. That's something that needs to happen. So yeah, down to 7 isn't too bad. Um, especially since we're not working this tile. Which again, sucks we can't get that fucking... Um, but yeah, again, it... Eventually, that will get turned into a uh, cargo ship, but I just don't think we're in a position to start building and or worried about cargo ships just yet. So, again, National College in five, but I'd honestly rather get some of these, like, productions, like, stuff first. Um, again, right? So, like, Stoneworks, uh, Forge, stuff like that. Um, yeah, because Forge would actually do this city good. We have two iron that we're working. Um, so yeah, again, probably Stoneworks in the Forge, and honestly, we sh what's what I'm pissed off about is like none of the AI of duplicates. Okay, Darius does, because we just have, you know resources up for trade, so we shouldn't need to worry about happiness. But just the fact that again the AI aren't getting their duplicates up, which is again a problem as old as time, right? But again, uh, again, we we still potential attack into Brazil. We'll see what uh, kind of comes of that, but, you know. Alright, yeah, so this is kind of where these borders end and come to a crossroads. Again, I just need one of their borders to expand there. Um, and then, yeah, we can do something like this. Five... Yeah, holy crap, we can actually get this down to four, so do that. Um, where's this growing to some shitty... Is this a... Uh, that's still a force. I'd say just keep one... Yeah, keep one unit with Heliopolis. The art can go back and help the cap. Because, um, yeah, the cap can kind of improve some of this tiles. And then this can move here and start working on this. But, uh... And again, so Memphis is about to grow. Um, can we... Yeah, we can undo that. Maximize our gold. Uh, let's see. Memphis can probably get its burial to next. Again, we'll, we'll just kind of see based on like how our timing. We just need to make sure we hit uh, university timing. Which all I need is that uh, National College prior to that point. Okay, so yeah, I got uh, pushed out, so... Um, 
and then again, yeah, we'll bring this back up and around. Uh, so again, and then the cap, yeah, we're gonna get this, uh, forge since, you know, that actually is decent for our city. Um, so we'll grow to here, which will be another freshwater farm. Um, just putting our turn in there. Again, we're working this so we can, yeah, we can do something like this. Yeah, so keep it like this. Um, this is a Plains River tile, so we can just chop this and then get a nice farm on it. Again, this can honestly just chill in the city for whenever it grows to an R tile. Just work this for now. Um, might need to work the, uh, what would you call it? Um, might need to work the, uh, you know, workshop in that city, depending on how many, uh, or how close, uh, Again, depending on if we have any, like, more available tire tiles to work, so. Um, again, I'm not just gonna give away shit for free. Um, I, finally, he has this, again, you know, because we don't, if, if you recall, we settled, our, our cap is a triple lux cap, but we have no other unique luxes. Again, the only potential, or, or like, other one we could have gotten would have been, um, again, you know, the, uh, wine, and then, uh, which we're already trading for, by the way, um, or I guess we're not. Does Brazil really not have a spare wine? Jesus Christ. Um, again, right, so, let's see, uh, in the cap, or Memphis has finished a workshop, so, I guess the question is, should I, I should probably push to get the burial tombs before universities, because I'm just not going to, like, be able to do both, so. Um, I guess, so, shrine. Because this city could still get a stoneworks. Obviously, this city is kind of, even though it has it, it's still a bit behind, but I guess it can also get its burial tomb. Yeah, this, I mean, but this is also a circus city versus where this city is not. Um, honestly, I'm just going to, I'm not going to get the stoneworks in this city. I'm just going to push to get the uh, burial tombs out. So, yeah, so this city is, holy crap, that city is 33 production. Wait, what? This, no, there's no way. Oh, it has 33 because that's, I was so confused. I'm like. I don't even think the cap is... I'm like, yeah, that's how much the cap should have. I, I was just... I don't know why I was confused. Um, but yeah, so this can move here. Uh, and then I guess we can start getting farms on some of these uh, hills. But... So yeah, let's do like uh, this or something, right? Honestly, what I can do is, I can move this to here, since it's going to be however long before. All I know is that this is growing here in 7, so I'll just keep the one worker there. And then this is growing to like one of these tiles, so I'll just leave that and then have the rest working on the cap. So, again, yeah. Especially because in a couple of turns, I am going to get that policy where it's plus one, uh, and again, civil service. So yeah, Elephantine all of a sudden is a fuck ton of growth. Um... And that's why we're getting that, so again, it's nice, it's nice, so. Let's see, uh. See, so yeah, let's do, like, something like this, this, this. We can move here. Honestly, we can even, like, pork on this in the meantime. Um, so where is this going? Uh, this is going to, like, that tile, basically. So four turns. Yeah, so, wow, it's only two-turn burial tomb. And then, yeah, this is still, uh... Yeah, so we can get one-turn shrine into probably a two-turn burial tomb in this city as well. So, for this city, we can just, uh, yeah, get this burial tomb. So, because, yeah, what we'll do is the two, I've already got decided. The policies in Pydium got to pick our organized religion, 
in Theocracy. Potentially Mandate of Heaven later on. Um, because, again, the big thing is even if we can't, like, don't have a religion, we can still use our faith for, like, great engineers, great scientists, stuff like that. Not going to get religious tolerance and reformation, though. But at the very least, organized religion, theocracy, potentially mandate of heaven later down the line. But again, uh, we'll see. That's kind of my plan. And again, into education. So, let's see. Again, right? So now we have this. We can get our national college finally. Um, kind of been holding off on that. Um, but, you know, we can get the national college as well as the national epic um, since we are going to be. We actually have great scientist points from the Oracle, and we are working our great engineer slot. So, yeah, we can, like, actually kind of maximize our production. Yeah, we can really maximize our production here, Jesus. Um, but again, yeah, that makes sense to me. And it should be just in time for uh, universities. So, we can even get a, what would you call it? Um, like, we still have to get that shrine and burial tomb in the cap. Alright, Brazil just put down another city. Alright, this is kind of an obnoxious settle. Um, funny enough, I'm going to leave my warrior here because this is a really good defense. So yeah, again, you know, and this is what happens when the AI, like, just struggles to find settles. Like, they'll just put out the most, like, obnoxious settles. Um, so... Again, right, so yeah, this can, uh... I guess we could have probably moved it to here, but I was, I guess, just too distracted. Uh, farm, 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 farm. So yeah, do something like this. 12, 6, uh, 5, 4. So, let we get this. Yeah, so do this for now. Um, yeah, we can actually get this down to 3. So yeah, do something like that. Um, yeah, so oftentimes, yeah, so this city, can we get that, or I guess it's three turns for that burial tomb? So yeah, in this city, I guess it's one more, but we can get that circus after to put it more in line. Um, again, organized religion, so, and again, you know, we can still get that in, like, we can still get a shrine and a burial tomb in the cap, so, again, we just, we, we really do need to get that at National College out, so. I guess we'll see how long, because seven turns, so yeah, I should be able to do National College and the National Epic into Shrine into Burial Tomb in the cap. So, but yeah, again, kind of have to build them now, you know, to take advantage of their uh, benefits. So, let's see. Oh, I accidentally turned the fucking grid off. Yeah, Persia with an R shitty settle at the bottom of the map. Again, you know, this is the experience that I missed when playing, I guess, a brand new, uh, Brave New World, but let's see. So again, right? Um, that's chilling there. So where are all of our workers doing? So improve, improve, improve. Can this move anywhere significant? Um, yes, yeah. This can move here. We can start here. Yeah, honest. Yeah, no, not really. Let's actually just move this worker down here because we can at least get a farm on this tile. So, you know, that kind of makes sense there. Yeah, so we did that. So let's get that two turn. Um, um, fucking. Yeah, let's grab that two turn circus. Um, this city still needs to get that stone works, but it's not as important. Um, it'll be. So yeah, we'll grow and should be able to get that. Uh. What would you call it? Yeah, we honestly should be able to get this uh, burial two mounts. So then, yeah, elephant times fine. Uh, it just it still can get it, but you know we'll see there. And yeah, I guess I, I'm not gonna take Brazil's shitty cities on our border again. I'm just gonna if I attack them, I'm just beelining. I'm taking Brasilia, taking Rio de Janeiro, and then piecing. I mean, all right. So we also have. Uh, the world or freaking world congress so yeah let's just do a world's fair that is a one i normally do because the ai like it so you know see so, yeah, now we have these tiles that we can work so let's do something like two we can definitely get this down to one really what if we do uh holy crap can we not 
I guess I was uh, mistaken for now. But we still can, like, maximize our... I guess, yeah, we still need to work these, but... Yeah, so something like this works out at uh, best. You know, uh... Can we do this? One... Yeah, it's fine. Get that one turn circus. So honestly, this city can probably work its workshop too. Uh, let this grow. And then yeah, Heliopolis. Yeah, I mean, doesn't really have anything else to work. Uh, it's for the cap, so we could also get into a garden too, right? Um, honestly, that's not the worst. Again, because we will eventually get those shrines and uh. Again, and then this city, honestly, if it's in one turn, I can probably just get something extra in this city. Maybe like a war chariot or something. And then I'll build something else, I guess, before, uh, you know, education, right? Honestly, before we hit up education, would it be wise to pick up optics? Because what we can do is we can do a very quick sailing into optics. Well, I guess, uh, no, nah, let's pick up education, because we would really need it for, like, compass, too. So, again, kind of the thing and or issue there is we could do that, but it only really allows to, like, Elephantine does not need to worry about food. Memphis needs more food. Heliopolis needs more food. So I want those two cities to send, uh, cargo ships to each other. And it wouldn't really be beneficial if I just were to pick up sailing. I'd really need sailing in the compass, so we can hold off on that, though. Um, this city can get its burial tomb. Um, yeah, it can get its burial tomb. Uh, it could get its own garden. Um, I guess, how many? Five? Honestly, gain that garden would be the worst. These cities... I guess the question is what? Honestly, I can probably just build coliseums in these cities. I guess, I'm not going to lie, we're doing pretty abysmally on gold right now. We could get, like, markets up. Again, it's just, yeah, gain this circus, and then it'll be this uh, stoneworks, right? So 17, uh, 18. So again, right, it's like... And then, yeah, this, and then I can probably just get the burial tomb, like, into the... Uh, University, right? And then shit. What was I doing with this worker? Oh, yeah, I was sending it here, but it's not exactly growing to any of those tiles anytime soon versus here, which will be a farm. So, again, right? Let's just, uh, and again, I feel like National College into Granary, Garden into possibly Shrine Temple, uh, or Shrine Burial Tomb, uh, you know, University, right? Yeah, now that we're getting... And again, we'll soon get gold benefits out of them, too, when we get our next uh, policy. So, Sydney, right? So, yeah. Still continuing to uh, explore, right? Um, and then where's... All right, yeah, just some shitty sea tiles that we can't really do anything with. Um, and then, yeah, we're already working this in... Yeah, we're already, like, maximizing our, like, benefits from these, like, tiles, so. Um, so we can move this guy here to improve this tile. Also, three turns. Yeah, move this guy here, and then just start to get, like, mines, I guess, so. But yeah, this city, so I guess the question is, what can this city kind of get, since Memphis has grown? Again, this city really needs, but we'll probably do that after universities. Um, so what is it, three turns? So I can probably get a, honestly, market with how abysmal our gold is. I don't know how our gold is, like, so bad. Um, like, it seems like our roads are really not doing us any help. So I can probably do, and then even this city, I, well, all right, you know, well, is there something this city can get that, like, maybe I should just, no, I'm not going to just, like, build a unit. 
Yeah, it's just a bit awkward with like these cities. I could probably greet a market in that city. Um, maybe like I can chop a unit or a tile or something. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see, and then Elephantine has grown, so four. Yeah, so let's do that. Um, shit, I was thinking we could get this garden into something. It's honestly not looking like it. Let's just go with the burial tomb. That's the least greedy option. I guess it seemed like we had more production than we did. But yeah, let's just go into that burial tomb. Um, I probably will go stoneworks into a fucking uh, market in that city, though. But yeah, let's just get that burial tomb in Elephantine and then that at university. Yeah, our, luckily, we still have, I'm pretty sure, a spare ivory. But again, I'm still holding off for happiness. But yeah, like, honestly, we kind of need, like, the markets. So, like, our gold is just abysmal. So yeah, let's, uh... So there's the farm, so yeah, but we can definitely get this down to three. There we go. Uh, this was supposed to grow there, I guess it didn't, so... And it's gonna grow to one of these tiles, so... Also, yeah, hold on, so are we working that tile? Can we get this down to... Oh, no, there's zero shot we're getting it down to two. So just leave it on its current tiles. Um, yeah, something like this is good. Yeah, we can do this. And then this guy can go here. And then this guy can go here, because I'll move this guy down here. Alright, perfect. And then, yeah, I'll get that National College into probably a Granary, or maybe I just go straight for the Burial Tomb, um, or a Garden. Yeah, I'll probably go National College, Jesus Christ, yeah. Again, this is why I proposed World's Fair first. Yeah, we'll probably skip over Garden Center. I guess what happened is our science went up, which, because I'm pretty sure just, it, like, the turns went down, because now it's one turn, so it's like... Yeah, so again, two turns for that, right? Um, this guy can just chill here. Um, yeah, we can go and improve that. Yeah, so... Yeah, we can improve that. Um, this still has some turns on it. Shit, I should, uh, I should do this more efficiently. What I'll do is... Yeah, fuck, I should have moved this here. Whatever, because, yeah, I mean, can't really do... I guess what I'll do is I'll move this here. Move this here, and then I'll move this to there. Whatever, just a bit of an awkward, uh... So yeah, I think shrine into burial tomb into uh, education, right? This city, can we really not get this mark? I was hoping we'd be able to get a market in this city. It is four turns. Can we not get this like quicker? I guess we can. Yeah. So let's get this in. Uh, yeah. So let's get this in three. Again, a bit awkward, but. The thing is, we're going to be um, building universities for that, like, extra food or whatnot slot. And our goal is pretty abysmal, so it does help out. So, again, right? So, yeah. Let's see. Dijon. Yeah, we're kind of nearly done exploring, like, what we can kind of see of the map. Um, again, yeah, I just... Let's see, so I'll just move there next turn, and then Elephantine's groin. I guess, yeah, we can maximize this, because it'll grow there, right? Yeah, as, for whatever... was Were we in a Golden Age? And I just didn't... Why the fuck did this city go down a, uh... 
Huh. I guess it must have been a King's Day. That's probably what it was. But yeah, again, these two cities still do need food. Um, so yeah, but this city, so we can definitely get a, yeah, get a fucking burial tomb. Yeah, holy crap. We're getting some insane overflow. Yeah, into a burial tomb. Um, and we do have education compasses for... Uh, we, honestly, I guess, I should just bite the bullet and go, because I don't think, pushing off till factories will be a bit too much, because I definitely do think by that point, these days need more food. Honestly, I probably should have gone this before education, because one thing I guess I didn't realize is, um... Again, these cities are probably going to need the food to work those uh, university slots to begin with. But, I guess, yeah, that's one thing I kind of didn't think about. Um, so, yeah, that's one thing I didn't really think about. I could push into astronomy for a uh, renaissance, even in a navigation. But at the very least, I think I need compass here. Um, honestly, we can probably get compass down to, like... Because we'll overflow on tech. Um, especially if we're going to get, like, a university in the cap soon. So, we can, like, overflow tech into a compass. So. I, I think, again, honestly, I probably should have gotten it before. But, again, you know. Again, and then kind of we can debate on going to astronomy. I, I do think chances are these cities will need their cargo ships before, um... Again, they can work universities. Elephantine does not need to worry about food. Um, neither does the cap. But again, you know, there is that kind of underlying factor there. So yeah, the cap is a massive amount of overflow right now. So I mean, yeah, we're getting some like ri actually like ridiculous. Um, So yeah, I feel like that's the best bet there. Um, Cause then we could, again, after we get those universities, we can probably build the, uh, so again, we had a deal end. Yeah, just, uh, cause yeah, optics we can overflow cause now compass is down to three. So, cause, okay. So yeah, we're uh, trapped, I guess on this side now, but. Not really an issue again. We're just finishing exploring the continent, so. So yeah, we can definitely get this down to like three. Yeah, so something like this works out best, so. Let's see, so... So yeah, University in 6, um... Yeah, we got the two markets, University in 5. Because what we'll probably do is... And I guess this will get a University, but it's going to overflow soon, so... You know, market in the University. And then by that point, uh, we don't need really lighthouses... Heliopolis will eventually benefit from one. Same with Elephantine. Memphis, not really. But we just need, because, again, we can get uh, cargo ships, and then we'll get our second one with a uh, fucking uh, compass. So, again, right? And then after these cities get their universities, they'll just pump out those two cargo ships. So, yeah, we can literally get one turn university. So, yeah, burial tomb into, hey, one turn uh, university, right? Um, because that can probably also potentially down that. But I guess we don't really need to, because it's gonna supposed to like coincide with the rest of our cities. Um, burial tomb. Honestly, we can do garden into a uh, university, just so we can make sure that we're getting that extra uh benefit or like production. Uh, nah, just fucking build that university, right? Or we uh, no, let's coincide with it growing because chances are university will go down to two turns, which will coincide with our uh, cap growing. So yeah, again, and now he's spraying his religion, so we are actually gaining religion now. 
So, in all of our cities at this point should have shrines and burial tombs. So don't really... And again, it is a two-turn compass. So... Yeah, all of our cities should have a shrine and burial tomb by this point. So yeah, right? We're getting all, like, the benefits associated with, uh, you know, piety and such. So, Heliopolis... Wow, that's still a six-turn university. But here's the thing, though. Um, we'll grow, and then um, we'll get that extra citizen just working, like, pure production. Also, so yeah, we have uh, that now, so we can uh, do, yeah, two turns for growth. Yeah, there we go. Since this city kind of desperately needs food also. But yeah, go work that. Uh, mine, 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 mine. Yeah, because now this will be a two-turn university, and it'll coincide with when it grows. Um, also, so what does this religion have? I guess nothing. So again, we're just kind of stockpiling our faith at this point. Um, again, I think there's benefit to that, and especially since we decide on a uh, piety. So again, yeah, compass. And so I guess we got compass quicker than we kind of uh, anticipated. Um. But the thing there is, it's like, yeah, because we're just going to get compass, get those, because these two cities really do need food. Also, yeah, Jesus Christ, like, our gold is abysmal. Like, we just haven't been having gold issues all game, and there's kind of nothing we can really do about it. Also, so yeah, this, I guess we can delete, honestly, yeah, there's no real point having this scout anymore. Um, Yeah, honestly, just delete this scout. Yeah, our gold issues are kind of, like, egregious. Um, pretty, like, abysmal there. Yeah, we can send this worker up to help out, so... Yeah, three turns. Again, Elephantine's good on food, but it's these other seas that aren't. Honestly, we can probably go into astronomy. Um, since we're there, we may as well... I mean, I'm not going to really explore, but more so just to hit up uh, Renaissance. Yeah, and there's... Uh, I guess, I don't know. We'll see again. It's it's just like... Uh, I do think, again, for... Because we're I think we're going to find out we don't have the uh, pot to work these out. But it's also like, I didn't want to delay the actual universities. So we'll probably stagnate growth a bit. But I guess we'll see there. And then, yeah, so this is going to grow next turn. Yeah, so do something like that, right? So. And then we'll have... We'll reassign Pop to our uh, cap, so. Be cool, Rabi, Be cool, Rabi. So, yeah. We'll pick up again. Get this compass and then probably just... See, so... Alright, let's uh, redo this deal. I guess, yeah. Because if we do plan on... Cavardying of Brazil, there's no point in like going up the top of the tree at all. Again, we deleted that scout, but yeah, this one's still going us strong. So, Let's see, Memphis has grown. Um, again, like I said, this is kind of the one that's uh, struggling. Yeah, we can send this worker kind of down here. Um, this worker can go up to Heliopolis. This one can just chill in Elephantine. Um, not deleting any workers, let's put it that way. But yeah, this worker can kind of move up back into this city. We can definitely get this down to three. Um, also, we need to work the universities. So. But yeah, we can definitely get this down to three, four. Are we really not? I guess not. Looks like we're kind of stuck at, uh... What if we... Well, I guess that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, no. So this is our... Yeah, this is the best thing uh, we can do here, so... I guess, yeah, six turns. I'm not willing to dump six turns, especially if we're going to try to do this whole Cavardi thing. But again, I do feel like 
Memphis and Heliopolis just do need that food. And again, we will build those cargo ships after our universities. But yeah, so this city, again, not building them in the cap, because again, we can't get the extra bonus from them being on the coast. They should be able to, or at the very least, we should be able to send one from Elephantine to Memphis and then Elephantine to Heliopolis. Maybe not the cities like to each other, but they should be close enough for that. Um, so yeah, but again, now in because we, now we have a decent amount of time between where we are and then universe and then uh, factories. So, and then I guess uh, yeah, only uh, Memphis and Elephantine can get windmills. But even so, windmills aren't really necessary for the cap. Honestly, the cap can probably get a market uh, on Writers Guild. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on the Writers Guild because we need more pop to work it. Um, again, happiness is non issue. So, yeah, let's just get that market since we're like losing a fuck ton of gold. So, also, Heli. Oh, fuck. I fucked up Heliopolis. Is, uh... So, yeah, we can trade our last. Yeah, I fucked up Heliopolis. Is, uh... Right. Pachakuri is a clear one of mom when sore. I don't know if we've seen a war this entire game. Yeah, I don't know if we've seen a war this whole game. Like, which is kind of an interesting thing to me. I don't think we've seen a war this entire game. Yeah, which is... I mean, the AI have been, like, settling into each other, which also, yeah, Brazil... Grant, they don't have the most, but they have quite a few. Hanging Gardens makes this a great, great wall. Uh, OP in Original Brave New World. Temple of Artemis, uh, again, really good. Alhambra, really good. So, again, you know, just uh, some... How the fuck did this... Am I an idiot? How did that... How did this guy end up here? I'm actually so, like... What? I'm confused. I don't know. Whatever. This we, We've kind of scouted pretty much most of the map anyway. I, I'm actually confused as to how... And again, so this is going to here, so just wait here. Um, improve again. This guy can honestly just like chill between these two cities, just as kind of I guess like a backup. This guy can move into the cap. Yeah, we have the most efficient way here, but and honestly, Elephantine can probably get a trireme. Like at the very least, I can get a trireme. Oh my god, leaning tower too. Yeah, Brazil. I think Cav already into Brazil is kind of a no-brainer play here. Yeah, I, how the fuck did this scout get here? I'm actually so confused as to how that happened. I guess it doesn't really matter, though. Um, so again, market. Yeah, we're just doing abysmally on gold. Um, yeah, four turns. Yeah, Elephantine doesn't need food at all. It's just these cities. Because we're going to try to, like, put the slots and then realize we just do not have the, uh, you know, like, resources to. So... Yeah, and again, we're just we're waiting basically till this university gets built, and then we're gonna put those two in it. So, yeah, and it's already at like 19, so you can see. And then fucking uh, again, this city will be at a similar amount. So, Elephantine's fine. It's just those two, but Elephantine does need its production one at some point. I'll ship that production over to a cargo ship, but. And then again, so we built that market. We can get like a mint too. Gold, so uh, that doesn't really help. And it's three turns till iron. Honestly, we can probably build the ironworks in Elephantine. I don't think that's the worst. That way we don't need to waste a trade route to Elephantine. That's actually, I feel like, a really good idea. Build that ironworks in Elephantine. Because I'll get this university, build a trireme to go scouting and then probably build that ironworks and then these two cities will build that car i feel like that's a really good idea normally i would just build it in the cap but i feel like and then that way that car that uh caravan i don't need to send production to elephantine i can just use a uh that second caravan to the cap so that's i feel like that's a pretty good idea um as for this right um so how much more turns do we have before this? Two turns? Or that's Heliopolis, Thebes. It's still 11 turns for Elephantine, which actually works out pretty well. 
What should the cap get in the meantime, though? I don't want to build another guild just yet. Um. Yeah, I don't want to build our guild just yet. Uh. So in the meantime, we can probably get like a circus and costume, get some happiness. I mean, we're good on happiness for now, but it always takes a turn for the worst. So you know, just uh, right. And then eventually we will get like you know guilds when we have more like, pop to be able to work with. So again, so yeah, gotten gained some nice. Yeah, look at these fucking like cities here. Like the AI just you know again just cannot. Like, again. Let's see. Yeah, so just chill in Memphis. Um, yeah, this worker can chill there. So yeah, we can do something like this. Three, four is honestly fine. Like... Because we can also unwork this workshop, but we've kind of been working it. Yeah, this is what's going to be awkward for this city, because it, it'll be what? Nine... Unless we want this to... And then, yeah, it's what would you call it? Four-turn cargo ship? Yeah, don't even bother with that lighthouse or, like, whatever else for now. But, yeah, four-turn cargo ship. So, seven turns. We can still... This city can still somewhat grow. Versus this city. Again, and both of these will be... What would you call it? Food to Memphis and then food to Heliopolis. So. And then even this is like. Because, yeah, we have this, but we can do. So, yeah, this is four turns, four turns, four turns. Again, this will get this two turn Shrive into that Ironworks. I feel like that's the best idea. Yeah, and then this. How did. Did we. Oh my god, we lost the uh, trade route. That's why. We can get this down to one, definitely. Hold on, we can do this. This is the best. And yeah, so we got that, but we can get grab that, uh... Yeah, grab that Coliseum. And yeah, again, we're... I, I, yeah, I think Ironworks, like, again, normally... We don't want to put build a Mega Cap, but again... Since we know Elephantine is behind. Um, Alright, so a lot of stuff just happened. Um, not a great scientist. Uh, and again, we have this scout kind of on the back end. Is this new music? I've never heard this music before. So, but we should put this on an iron tile. Or like a horse town range, so like see four turns, we can definitely get this down to three. Um I guess maybe not. Yeah, so do something like this. Let's see Ch -ch -ch. machinery, um printing press, let's go chivalry first. In a printing press, in an industrialization, in a scientific theory, radio, and then we just push dynamite to Cavardi into uh, Brazil. Again, these two cities I don't really care about, I'm not worried about. I just need enough units on our border to make sure they don't like raise and pillage our cap. Again, really kind of the bigger thing is yeah, we're gonna push our Cavardi, take Brasilia, I'll keep that city. Um, and then take uh, Re I really wish they sell uh, Brazil. Brasilia higher up, but, you know, it's the AI, right? You can only ask for so much. But yeah, again, these cargo ships are gonna, and they are honestly kind of necessary, so. Again, what's, uh, what'll be interesting is I'll send this Trime out to Scout, um, so, again, right? And then, but big thing is for this, right? Yeah, you know, Ironworks, right? Nine turns, it's kind of a painful build, but we have eight turns left on this. And again, it's like, this will really boost this city's uh, production and kind of put it in line with Memphis and Heliopolis without the need of an extra trade route. So, again, to me, that's like the best. So, three turns. So, honestly, I'll probably go Amphitheater into a Writer's Guild just because I want to wait till it grows before I work any more guilds. Um... Cathmandu. 
Yeah, I'm just going to bring this scout on the back end of uh, Brazil, right? Since we plan on doing this whole attacking thing. I'm just realizing how much Napoleon's, like, settled. Like, also attacking Brazil will potentially allow me to attack into Napoleon, who definitely seems to be the front runner. Like, Napoleon and uh, Persia. But Persia is kind of too far away, but I can set up an attack into, uh... Yeah, Brazil, honestly... Yeah, an attack, and yeah, look at Napoleon. So yeah, Napoleon is kind of the front runner, but so yeah, I mean, I think yeah, attack into Brazil, set up potential, and if Napoleon's a problem, we can deal with him. Again, this this works out like really well. Uh, so yeah, chivalry. Um, again, now we go. into printing press into uh, industrialization into scientific theory into electricity right kind of some interesting uh, and right but and eventually these days like I can get like I, I'm broke right now so I can't buy tiles but when I do get gold I can like buy tiles and then also see so yeah, Memphis I guess still is a decent amount but we're also not working Max food in a uh, Heliopolis just because I want to get those cargo ships out at the same time. And again, this city is about to grow, so yeah, Elephantine again doing fine in terms of food. Um, open wars again, and yeah, this way we can prevent a Brazil tourism again. He's an industrial Napoleon's Globe Theater. Let's see, so. turns till the World's Fair, so... Yeah, both of these are going to Elfantine. This one should still be able to reach uh, Memphis. Um, eight. Uh, I can get a lighthouse in this city, though, and I can, like, buy out to some of those fish tiles, so... Oh, shit. Um... I do not want to scout further because I'm just going to bring this scout back and, uh, yeah, I'm just going to bring this scout back and then it's just a bit awkward that the city state is two units there and then scout the back end of uh, Brazil. So, so again, one turn, honestly, yeah, I kind of have to build the writer's guild now. So, so yeah, we can do like this into the growth. So. As for these two cities, honestly, yeah, probably just, alright, yeah, two-turn lighthouse, fucking. Yeah, honestly, get lighthouses in these cities, because they kind of need them, um, at least for the one fish. So, granted, that's more of a temporary, again, the cargo ship's the permanent, but it'll help on top of that, so... So do actually yeah, so three turn lighthouse, three turn lighthouse, and again each of those seas are getting a cargo ship. So yeah, again the game's going well. Um, again, yeah, just feel like uh, let's see. Yeah, so we're just gonna bring this scout kind of back. Um, yeah, so hold on, I need to adjust. Also, so yeah, first send these two, right? So food to Heliopolis, and then food to on Memphis. Not super worried about barbs. Um, so, so yeah, we can do something like this. Because yeah, we actually have go for fucking gold focus here. And then this city, again, we can... But yeah, because these cities actually have, like, decent, like, lighthouse tiles, and we do have decent gold potential. It's just, again, you know, the food. In Elephantine, again... Mm. But here's the thing. So now we have two more... Uh, four... Uh, or at least one more, you know, four food. Right? So And then again, so this is gonna go here... And then, uh, shoot, yeah, we actually might be kind of right now food. What if we do? But here's the thing, right? So, 
because our uh, trade route to, and this is what what's nice, Thieves to Elephantine ends at 5, so we will send that to, um, again, you know, uh, just as a second food trade route to Thieves, so. But again, this city can't really build much. Um, honestly, are we in, we're not an industrial. Well, Leaning Towers are been built, so we're not getting that, but yeah, so our caps, like, we're kind of capped on what we can build. Um, Mint does, like, nothing. That's just two gold. Again, not gain the Artist Guild, just because we have, like, nothing we can use that for. I guess we can use it for the Palace and just have them kind of... But we don't have the food for it, right? Which is kind of the issue. Oxford, I guess we can pre-build, but we're not... I don't want to ball... Like, again, that's going to be probably for Radio to try for the Radio Wonders... Um, yeah, we really can't build anything. Honestly, maybe I go for, like, wealth to try to, like, pick up our wealth. I normally, like, would not. Yeah, I guess in four turns we have World's Fair. So, the thing there is we should probably try to time for that. So, honestly, I could probably just pre-build Oxford, get it down to one. Yeah, I feel like, take this time to pre-build Oxford, get it down to one, and then I'll just build, like, some, like, a unit into, like, the World's Fair or something. Since it should pass. So, yeah, I feel like that's the best bet here. Yeah, also, so nice to see. Uh, here's the thing. By the time I attack him... Oh! Interesting. By the time I attack him, that should run out. So, I'm not, I guess, like, super worried or concerned there. So... Again, right? Um, again, Elephantine, I just need to be, like, smart with the food I have, and it shouldn't be an issue. Because I also am working the workshop, too. So. Six. Can get this down to five. Yep, five. All right, good. It, shoot, it didn't finish its lighthouse. Well, I guess neither did this city, but... Yeah, so this is fine. Yeah, five is the lowest we can go, so don't bother trying to push lower. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, right. Uh, Ufizi, I need to make sure we don't accidentally Golden Age, and like, also did we- Or, no, it's just Thieves is- Again, Thieves is kind of run out of its food, uh, you know, train. But, alright, so we can steal... Banking, uh... We're one turn away from printing press, but we can steal banking, acoustics, and astronomy. Honestly, steal banking. That way we can... Again, so we're in Renaissance now. So... Again, um... What would you call it? Yeah, that's actually a really nice steal, because that's just one tech towards industrialization. Or one less that we need to, like, worry about. So... Finished lighthouse, so again, this is a decent tile now, so three. Can we get this down to two in any way, shape, or form? Uh, no, so just, I guess we can, like, still need to work that, so we'll just keep it like that. Um, Heliopolis, yeah, four turns, just keep it like this. Uh, this city, again, still, you know. Again, that ironworks it, and that city's gonna be so nice, though. Um, so, there shouldn't be anything that really, like, this, sh I swear to god. And even so, we could just bulb economics, like, but there shouldn't be anything that puts this over the edge, uh, again, right? So, we're not really working for them. So, I guess the question is what these cities should be. Um, honestly, Coliseum, well, we're doing... Also, we do have an R trade route, but I'll probably just use that as a third trade route for the cap. Elephantine really doesn't need one. Um, again, it really doesn't. Uh, again, it's just I need to get these uh, farms up. So, I guess what would a harbor even do anything? Maybe a bank. I guess we're getting economics in five, so that'll be windmills in Memphis, and then potentially. But we also have. World's Fair in 2, so take that into consideration. So honestly, I should get... 
I can probably get a caravan in this city, and then... Well, I already got the freaking stone... I guess, uh... Again, I don't want to commit too much. Maybe we just do... Honestly, we can probably do just the two amphitheaters. We don't really need to worry about happiness, and I don't want to commit to the bank. Four turns, we can definitely get this down one. So I think just commit to the... Again, harbors don't really do us anything. Um, because we don't... We just needed to get the two food trade routes to those two cities, right? So, yeah, I'd say just get the amphitheaters. Um, this one we can definitely get down a turn. Uh, and also it should take an extra turn anyway from voting to actually doing it, so... Again, that's a thing to take into consideration, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um... Yeah, it should work out fine. Again, don't need to worry about happiness. I mean, our gold's more under control. It's just like, I don't, again, not going to be able to commit to, like, banks. And hopefully, like, maybe that Oxford goes off. If, worst case scenario, we just ball and do. But, again, really don't want to. Again, I'm just kind of rebuilding it. So, again, it shouldn't, like, there should be nothing that, like, all right, yeah, so it didn't go off. Again, what we wanted. Um, so yeah, let's switch off this before I forget, because I 100% know that's what's going to happen. And what would you call it? Um, we could honestly build the... Yeah, just build the freaking um, caravan in the cap. Um, yeah, just build that caravan in the cap. So yeah, this we can do this, right? Down to three. And that's an R3 futile we can work. Down to two. Yeah, so, again, right? So, yeah, Elephantine does not need to worry about food. So, again, the cap more so, but we have, we'll have two more uh, caravans sending food to the cap. Because the one to Elephantine will send his food to the cap, and this one that we're building here. Adopt policy. Let's grab Theocracy, again, for that gold potential. Again, maybe even Mandate Heaven, but at the very least, I want Theocracy before I go into AR, kind of like policy. So let's see. Choose research, and again, so printing press, we're just going to push industrialization. And then into public schools, and uh... Yeah, so again, and we're just going to go up here, right, and then uh, go the other way, so... <sighs> right. Again, yeah, we're we're in a really good position. And again, I do think we push for this uh, Cavardi attack on our Brazil. Um, again, right? I think that's just kind of a no, really a no brainer at this point. I'd say. Um, yeah, just go up here. And again, we'll just have that scout on the back side of Brazil. World's Fair ban luxury jewelry. I do not care about jewelry. So just vote for uh, my own. And yeah, so this is why I mean it'll take like a turn to populate, so. You know, it has to be like this, so. And then again, so we grew here, right? Get a farm there. Um, I just have this worker sin chill here. And this city is going to grow, so we can probably hold on. So yeah, we can do the old... Oh, it's still on gold focus, fine enough. So yeah, we can kind of max out our gold here. So yeah, we're actually in a pretty good position to contribute to this World's Fair, like... And then, yeah, so right now... Oh, shoot, this one ended, so yeah, that's perfect. So this will be... Uh, again, Memphis to, uh... You know... Alright, I was going to say, don't... Did I? Alright, good. I was about to say fucking... So, and then again, that one will be... What would you call it? So again, they're having a religious war in our lands, which is, again, you know... Which is fine. Gandhi is a threat. Don't really care. Um, again. And then we'll send this caravan... So we'll have all three caravans sending food. And again, Golden Age... Honestly, we're in a really good position to actually just completely win and crush this World's Fair. Um, even though, obviously, we don't have, like, 
the cities yeah, and the production. Again, just with kind of how we set it up, we're actually in a really, really good position. Also, we can finally trade wine to Pedro. Hola. Hola. But funny enough, we don't have uh I guess he'll take horses for now. Can fund his war effort. Um Let's see. So again, right? Um So yeah, this is gonna be so yeah, we'll have all cities sending food to the cap. So this will be food to Thebes. Where's Thebes? Uh, before I worry about that, right? So, so yeah, this will be uh, World's Fair, right? This city we grew, but again, we can still five, four. I'll see. Yeah, we can finally improve this. So something like this is best. Yeah, World's Fair. And then again, we can get the World's Fair after this, but... Yeah, something like that. Um, and then the cap. Uh, again, yeah. So we pre... And again, just cap in the World's Fair. So yeah, we're in a really good... And honestly, I think I end this here. I'm going to end this part here. We're in a really good uh, position now, right? Also, so... Can we... Wow, so none of these religions have, like, any purchasable, like, stuff. So, whatever. But yeah, we're in a, actually, again, we're in a really good position right now, I'd say, again. Even though we're not, like, very clearly not top on production and don't have the, like, cities or whatnot. Like, again, with how we've set this up, yeah, we're just in a really great position to actually kind of crush this uh, World's Fair here. So, like... I'm hoping we can get the win on this with, again, you know, kind of how we set up for it. Very rarely does a World's Fair setup look this nice, mostly just because I kind of suck at it, like, saying up for it well. But, again, you know, in terms of this, right, it's looking up. It's looking really good. So, anyway, we could potentially finish it before we even get windmills and then uh, definitely buy factories. So, I guess next one... Um, embargo. So I don't want to do something that'll piss off. Uh, I guess the big thing is arts funding, but I, I don't want arts funding. But I will say cultural heritage sites. Well, we only have one world wonder, right? But we should be getting more. So, and there are a few civs that would like it. So let's just throw that down. Um... And especially if I do plan on attacking and taking, you know, Brazil, right? That's like, you know... Jesus Christ. So yeah, I think I end it here. Again, we're in a really, really good position. Um, you know, we're in a really good position now. So, again, something to wear. Yeah, we're in a really good position um, this game. And I feel like, again, the move is basically just, again, we're going to push industrialization, push uh, scientific theory, electricity, potent probably Oxford radio, and then push to dynamite uh, to, again, set up to attack Brazil. Because I think, well, Brazil actually is the most pop, but, and they are the most literate, but I do think in terms of, like, between the wonders they've built, like, five wonders that they, again, because they don't have the most, right? That'd be Darius, but they have some of the best. Um, there must be a city here. And again, it's something to where, yeah, like, I'm not going to worry about these two cities. I just need Eunice here to prevent him from, like, pushing in the Thebes. But I'm just going to push up, take Brasilia, and then again into a Rio de Janeiro, and then peace out again. And his other shitty cities, I guess Salvador isn't too bad, but his other, like, cities will kind of serve still as, like, a buffer between me and the rest of the world. But that'll put me on, like, six cities. And again, potentially set up to push into a Napoleon should push come to sub, since I still think he's very clearly the front runner here. Even though, again, I will s okay, so yeah, oh shit, uh, frickin', I guess Inca, the war between Inca and, uh, you know, Morocco's, uh, frickin', what would you call it, uh, is pushing forward because uh, Inca's say, uh, catches like at half health. 
But also, I feel like Inka's pro kind of irrelevant. They just, they're like sucking this game. Um, and then again, Persia is also, they have the most like actual wonders. But again, I what I'll probably try to do is try to get France and Persia to fight each other. Um, again, I'll probably try to get them to fight each other with uh, me just killing Brazil and have them fight each other. And I don't think I really need to worry about anyone else. I don't think, even if Inca does take Marrakesh, I don't think they're in a good enough position to win. Uh, again, Amano Mansour is dying. Uh, again, you know, India is kind of irrelevant. Uh, what would you call it? Suleiman's irrelevant. Uh, Freaking Ottomans are irrelevant. Really, the only other like players this game I'd say are Pedro who I'm again you know Brazil who I'm prepping to kill um France and then you know Persia and I can just have them hopefully fight each other since they have kind of an awkward border here but who knows right we'll see but again I think we're setting up really well here um I, I think that's just that's kind of the big thing to note I think we're setting up very uh I think we're staying up very, very well here. I, I do think at the end of the day, the move was the more conservative, like less greedy settles, especially since we are playing this attack. I just think it kind of works out really well. But with that, let me just save one more time to be safe, and then I'll end the game here. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.